Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. If you're joining us from last time, you'll remember that everything's great, everything's fine, everyone is having the best of times, and uh, nothing weird or strange or horrific happened. It's just another day in a Doki Doki Literature Club. Fun fact, I was looking up Doki Doki the other day, and uh, it turns out it's it has to do with your heartbeat. It's this it's a sound for your heartbeat, a, an automatopoeia, some would say. And the sound doki doki means in most situations what your heart does when it it's in a romantic situation. However, it is also used, I guess, in this area, in this arena, as a way to uh, describe what your heart feels like in awful situations. So we're gonna read poems. <laughs> I should start with Monica. That's true, I should. She's the best. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Ms. Anne. Hmm. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's great. Good, glad to hear it. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. I guess that's the point. <laughs> it is the point. <laughs> Don't worry, Ms. Anne. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true, I suppose. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Ms. Anne. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. Hmm, also, you smell so good. If I had a nose that worked anyway, hmm, what? Oh, are you just gonna skip through all of my lines? But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. Hmm, she spends so much time in her own head that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Hello. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? You did without me? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. I'm putting a little cross next to your name, though. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my eyes can no longer see color. Are there other things in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper that sound frantic scrawling, praying tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. <sighs> the air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I pick up my pen. So, what do you think? Uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you kind of... Sorry, I'm not really good at this poem stuff. Hey, are you getting a weird sense of deja vu? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some sort of epiphany recently. That's not what I was talking about. I was talking whether or not, you know... No? All right. So, this is all the same stuff. I'm waiting for the next stuff to happen. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to read the same thing over twice. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't realize 
realize you're so invested. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe you're just jealous that Mizan appreciates me. He bears my voice too. I would deliberately go out of my way making cutesy stuff. Oopsie loo, my boobs are growing magically, size is bigger. <laughs> Taking your own insecurities on like that. Oh, oh shoot, I missed something there. I edgy, what, what did you just say? What is just happening? I said you're an edgy bitch, all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, the music seems to be going off a little oopa loop there. As Yuri would say, what's uh, what's going on? Hello? Does something happen at the end of the the fast going stuff? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much to for someone of your mental age to comprehend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, this is all fine. It's all fine. Hey, hey, can someone fix the set? See, I knew it. You think you're better than me? This. Saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want, if you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Uh, the only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Oh! Whoa! Be careful! You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Whoa, whoa, Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'll just see myself out. D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Oh, okay. <clears throat> um. Yeah, go on. Let Mizen hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me, as if she was just noticing I was standing here. Mizan? She's... she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. By having bigger boobs and I... <laughs> okay, now, to be fair, I didn't skip through that part. That part just went by fast. Um, good, good. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go with Yuri. Okay, I'm not... Yuri, please, Yuri, or, or, um, go with Yuri, or Yuri, or Yuri, or Yuri, or Yuri, or Yuri. Hi, 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 Monica. Uh, you, what, can I pick Yuri, please? Is that okay with you, Monica? Ma Monica, I don't know, Monica. Um, haha. <laughs> hey, Mizan. Um. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall here, but why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay, Monica, anything you you want. Anything you want, okay, Monica? Just please don't don't hurt anyone else. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside when they're done yelling. <laughs> Ah, some president I am, right? I mean, you're better than some presidents. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. It's preferable, actually. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Uh. <laughs> she quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. They didn't mean it. They didn't mean it. They didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Ah, uh, Yuri? They didn't mean it. Okay. I believe you. Haha. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Mizan, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. 
there's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We didn't we we know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm not I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Um anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Um Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. That's what I'm getting from this. It's not that. <laughs> I love you. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Mizan. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> okay. I guess I don't really have much of a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, about yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound in my head thoughts. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. It's like our minds are being controlled by somebody else. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. <laughs> you don't have to worry up too much. Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Bleh. No, I haven't. No. Why? I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Um, Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Um, uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, you, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, especially about your mother. And I'll do my best to control, stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? I can't remember anything about tomorrow. Yesterday? Did you do something yesterday? Yay. Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Sure, why not? I like that period. That's a good period to say. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? That's a really bad trait of yours. Man, if only you could be more like Monica. B but my bull steel cloth blindside full line and on reciprocality faultlessly offered maniac need Mizan Im since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. Sure, why not? I, I mean in the club! Yeah, definitely, whatever, let's just get over with. I planned on it anyway. Okay, hurrah! Can we start now? Let's find a soft place to sit. <laughs> I'm being a little too forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yes that's right, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Uh, take your time. It's okay. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. The one she has with her, apparently. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Sounds... Sounds like every other day. If there's one thing that can make reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. 
Yuri stands up and makes her way to the T where she gets the filter. After she gets the filter, she says, hey, can you hold this for a second? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Hey, do you know that the, the it's weird that the teacher lets a tea set in here? Yes, you know, it's okay. Okay, fine, thanks. Woo, woo, de, woo. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the room. Ah. Yes. Did Yuri leave you again? Ah, uh, yes. But no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding, Tilda. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take too long. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha. Ha. He, he. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya! Oh, no. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. This is. Okay. All right. This, uh, it's getting real. It's getting really real. Oh, good. Let's just forget all, of, all about the. Hello, I'm back. Hi, Yuri. Hi. You okay? Everything's alright? Thanks for waiting patiently. Instead of going to come look for me. Mizen, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, I love it for an oolong time. Uh, good stuff, everyone. It's full of jokes. Just full of jokes. A mile a minute. Let's go ahead and go through the Yuri stuff. Going through the Yuri stuff until we get to new stuff. Why don't we go through the Yuri stuff? Going through the Yuri stuff. Hello, don't worry about me. Go ahead and give me a chocolate. I'll be okay. Looking for you another day. Let's okay. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. <laughs> I can't... Mizan. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over, spilling the human blood inside of it. Mizan, my heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Mizan. Uh, I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Mizan? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. I can feel the doki doki of her heart. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It, it makes me n not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> uh, great, great, Yuri. We're having a fun time together. <laughs> Um, um, thanks, there, thanks, Monica, I guess, is a great way to, okay, guys, well, that's Doki Doki Literature Club, uh, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord, signing off, have a good one, guys.